hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all um got something else to talk to y'all about okay <laughs> I, I i need my my subscribers my day ones twos and threes even the new ones i want y'all to you know chime in on this one okay y'all um so everybody that's been keeping up with the videos that i've been putting out about yellow beezy y'all um y'all know if y'all keeping up i just said that this was a good catch okay y'all if they weren't fishing they got a good catch this time okay y'all and the reason why i said that i told y'all in the last the last couple videos i said he can make all those charges that he got go away if he tells some information on somebody that they can use okay because he has connections with everybody that put in on allegedly mo3 okay y'all he got all the information they need he can tell them about trap. He can tell, tell them about, you know, the commission. I mean, he can tell on everybody. Everybody. Okay, y'all? He can get pull in a whole bunch of more folks right now with this just this one person right here. Hell, he can even tell on the situation that's going on with Young Dolph. And um, this one right here, Soldier Boy. And what ties he had with that whole situation, he know about it too. Because he know all trap business. And trap know all of his. Okay, y'all? Um... As soon as I put that video out, because I told y'all last night he was supposed to get released. And then I came back this morning and told y'all he was still there. He's still in the cell, y'all. Okay? He's still in the cell. I told y'all this. And then I came back and told y'all why. Because they see him as a flight risk. And they did not want, they argued about keeping him in there. Because of the fact that they thought he was a flight risk. Okay, y'all? And, um... They didn't want him to just pay no 10%. They want him to pay the whole million dollars. Okay, y'all? I told y'all this, right? So, I told y'all, the only way he gonna make all them other charges go away is he give up, you know, some bigger fishes, y'all, that they want. Okay? Because they want this commissioner, too, believe it or not. They want something that's gonna stick on him as well. Because they want him out of there. They know now he's involved with street activity with street associates okay and now they know about the street associates that were used to be in a street association with trap a long time ago that's now working for the police department and other departments down there in dallas okay remember i told y'all this right so i said if he want all of those charges to go away i named them all i said you know the female that press charges on him um the child endangerment charge you know, the uh, hand sanitizer charge, all these charges, y'all, the toy charges. I told y'all yesterday or whatever, whenever I posted it, I said, in order to make this stuff go away, he going to have to tell something, right, y'all? So after I made that video, I get an email, not an email. I get a message in my IG, y'all, okay? Now, this message comes up. When I put that video up, this message comes up, Okay. Now, y'all tell me if I'm tripping. But the reason that they put this message up to me, it just hit me when I got out of the tub and was relaxing. I said, wait a minute. They sent me that message because they want people to think he's out and he's not still in there tricking on people. Okay? Now, y'all remember back here when Mo3 Mother was getting um, threats on her life. They was following her around to the church, all kind of stuff. Remember when they was doing all this stuff to Mo3? They was doing all kind of stuff to Mo3, his family, threatening them like crazy, okay? Now, they want to tell a lie and put this lie out and pretend like he's out. They're going to act like he's typed up this letter. Now, y'all remember before, soon as he got out, he was posting. He was posting before when he got out of jail, when he was putting that change in his pocket, getting in the car. Remember, he went live. Y'all remember when he went to jail for... Um, the hand sanitizer he jumped on his social media platform and he went live and he was like this is not what y'all think it is this is hand sanitizer you remember he was saying that live 
So act, act, answer me this, y'all. Okay? Answer me this. Ask yourself this question. Why he ain't going to laugh to put this statement out? Okay? Why didn't he go laugh and say this instead of putting it on this little post? And they said, um, DJ Academics, somebody Academics put this out saying that, you know, acting like he got out and that they talked to him. Now, I'm going to say this, since somebody had the nerves to, you know, put this out to make it seem like he got out. If he's out, why don't you prove it to everybody and let him go live like he did the other times that he got out. OK, this also goes to show you he's in there talking, y'all, allegedly. OK, y'all, he is in there 69 and y'all. OK, I don't care what nobody say. He is 42 dug in it and he is 69 in it right now, y'all. Okay, he's doing just like old boy's daddy that's testifying against his sons. He is 69 and right now, y'all, I don't care what nobody say. Allegedly. Okay? Allegedly. Okay, y'all? Because this is some proof right here. Now, listen to what he said. He said, I got arrested for a ticket and the DA went off my bond and raised it to $1 million. Now, why would they raise your bond to a $1 million of a ticket, a traffic ticket or whatever, y'all? Okay? And then it says some unheard of shit, okay? Same case, I've been fighting. That's about to get dropped. Okay, y'all, that got just about to get dropped. Remember, I just said this. I said, if he give away some good information this time, there's going to be some cases going to get dropped. Y'all, I just said this on my other video if y'all keeping up. Now they want people to think that his, you know, he's put throwing this information out because I put that out there. Y'all, pay attention, y'all, to what's going on, okay? Please pay attention. Somebody is tricking, and they want to pretend like they ain't, y'all. Now, somebody else was saying this on another page, that he's in there telling on trap. This is what somebody's saying on another page. But I'm not going by what that other page is saying. I've been going by what my own research is saying. And from what I just got a message on my IG saying this, y'all, y'all, I've been fighting this case about to get dropped, but the system prolonging it in hopes to catch me in some so in something so they can stick anything on me. <laughs> you mean like your DMO three? Um, but that case about to get dismissed. Ain't no second charge. Where do y'all get y'all information from? Now let me tell y'all something. Normally when this guy got something to say, he jumps on live and say it. Why ain't he on live saying it? Why is he typing this up, sending it out to whoever this academic is, if this is the real academics? I don't know. But um, why did he send this in a, like a typing form? Why didn't he show his face? Somebody at his house has his account, and they're trying to pretend like he's at home because that paperwork is saying that he got out on a 27, but he didn't, y'all. He's telling, and they don't want the family and nobody coming to the family think, you know, and the family catching some smoke. Because he and that telling, you know, they don't want trapping them to know he and that telling on them. Okay, y'all? The shit is finna hit the fan, y'all. And another thing that's going on right now, Father's Day little thing is going on, y'all. He's supposed to be performing there. Okay? So they gotta try to keep him safe by making this loud right here saying that he got arrested for a ticket. And... The case, the pro his other um, charges finna get dismissed because y'all know people going to be pissed off if those charges, all those charges that he just racked up all them times he got locked up. If all them charges get dismissed, everybody going to know they playing favoritism in Dallas with these guys. OK, so they know that. And this is why they just put this fake information out that he's out. Y'all know he jumps on social media every time, every time. He jumps on social media and say, I ain't selling no, if this is some hand pass sanitizer, I told y'all, it ain't this, it ain't that. That's, um, he, they trying to clean some shit up now. This is what they trying to do because he didn't get let out last night. So they trying to clean up some stuff, all right? And I, I got a challenge for you, Mr. Whoever DJ, ac, ac, it don't say DJ, it say academics. So I got a challenge for you, Mr. Academics, and I got a challenge for you, Yellow Beezy, and your family that put up this fake post. If you not locked up, go live for a second and show everybody you ain't locked up. Okay? Go live, honey. That's all you got to do. Not show your cell because I know they be having little tablets in jail. Okay? I ain't stupid. But um, 
Go live and prove that you're not locked up. The family is trying to put this, brush this under the rug and take control of this right now, y'all. They don't want this shit to fall back in their lap. Now, now it's amazing how it was okay when, when he was out here doing this shit to Mo3, though. They put Mo3 name on a ticket for him to perform with them. And then he helped them sell their damn tickets. Because a lot of the people that came, came to see Mo3. They didn't come to see no damn Yellow Beezy, okay? And then as soon as Mo3 get there, his name is on the flag, on the, um flyers and everything he get arrested it's okay as long as they was playing these stupid ass games with mo3 and then they having people following his mama taking pictures of his mama going to church and all this stuff threatening mo3 all that shit was okay but now that the shit is hitting the fan and it's coming back to his family now his family want to do you know damage control now and they want to throw this little post up and pretend like he's out that he posted this himself. Well, if he posted this himself, you, whoever wanted me to have this message, um, go laugh. Let, let the world know you are out. If you are out, like you say you are. Okay? Because somebody is lying. Okay? Now, I ain't checked in the last hour. But he ain't out, y'all, that I know of. And I got this a couple hours ago. Okay, y'all, I got this a couple hours ago, and I slept on it for a little bit. I, You know, I ain't sleep, but I went and chilled out and relaxed. Got, took me a hot bath and just been relaxing with me, a little music in the tub and stuff like that. And my candles, and I've been chilling. And then it hit me, and I was like, why did, I was like, what would make somebody send me an email line saying that he was locked up for some tickets, number one? Because why would they change, you know? your bond to a million dollars over a traffic ticket or something like that, y'all. That don't make no sense, okay? And I'm like, that don't make no sense. So it had to be a reason that they sent me this. And then I went back and read this again, and it hit me when I got to that part when it said, but the case about to get dismissed. And you see they got dismissed in capital letters all the way over there, you know, all the way across dismissed, okay, y'all? So here go the game, y'all. Okay, here go the game. And a lot of people ain't going to even want to be saying nothing around him now because of this lie right here. And because, you know, he spent the extra night in the jail and he's supposed to get out last night. So people going to be looking at him sideways, not to mention they're going to be looking at his family sideways too. Okay, now, you know, the shit is flipping from when they did it to Mo3 family. And the threats and all the mess. Now the threats is going to come his way. And I do believe... Is yellow about to be the next sacrifice, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Because if they think that he's telling, if they think that he is telling, it's going to bring some drama his way, y'all. And this right here looks as if they are already trying to clear up some shit for when they was going to tell us that the charges was dropped. Why they wait until he get arrested, allegedly, for some tickets? For the charges to get dropped about this female. Why are you waiting until he got arrested and then the bond went up and all that other stuff? Okay. Now, remember, we heard way back here that this female was put up somewhere so that his people wouldn't get to her and try to pay her off or anything like that. Y'all remember people were saying that. So has has the um, charges about to get dismissed, y'all? Ask yourself this question, okay? And why would they raise the bond for a charge that's about to get dismissed? That don't seem right, y'all. So this seems like a lie that they're putting out. And look at that. It got yellow, beezy, 214 on there, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Something is a brewing, y'all. Somebody's talking. Allegedly. Somebody's in that 69 in it to death, okay, y'all? Ooh, it's about to get very interesting, y'all. He gonna have wires all up his ass if he do get out of there. <laughs> if they sending him out so he can, uh, you know, catch somebody up. Hey, y'all. Is that it? But, see, we don't appreciate the shit because he played a big part in this whole mess, too, with Mo3. And if you you played a part in helping put a bag on this man and raising the bar so that he, they could all take him out and everybody get paid that was on the expressway, witnesses included, okay, because it was a lot of witnesses that was out there that they planted out there, too, y'all, okay? So we want justice for Mo3 all the way around the border. We, aren't, we ain't about to play no games. It was some witness out there that Trap put out there. 
They had paid a whole bunch of people, many men, Ebony and them. They all paid a whole bunch of people, allegedly. Okay? And it ain't really alleged because we saw the post that she put on her social media. We saw the post ourselves. We got copies of it. Okay, y'all? So they not finna play this game with us. Oh, no. Yellow Beezy, I don't care if he do tell on somebody. He still should get in trouble, too, for what he did. No, don't just drop his charges like he, he innocent and he ain't did nothing. No, that ain't the game we want to play either, y'all. Okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. And y'all, get in the comments se section. Please let me know what y'all think about this. Because I was sitting in that tub and it hit me. I was like, I just put this out on a video. That some charges going to get dismissed. And then look at this. In capital letters, get sent to me with Yellow Beezy's name on there. <laughs> y'all, I hope y'all peeping what's going on. It's getting hot on these Dallas streets. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.